Problem number three. What would be the extraneous solution that you would obtain when you solve the given equation? So we have a logarithmic equation, and we're being asked for the extraneous solution. The extraneous solution is the answer you get that doesn't check. So if we go through this whole process and we get some answers, the one that doesn't check, that's the answer. So if you have to guess, it's going to be one of the negative ones, okay? It'll be B or D. But let's go ahead and work through it. So we have log base 6 of x plus log base 6 of x plus 1, and that's equal to 1. I didn't put a parenthesis around the x. You don't have to when it's a single term, but there it is. First thing you want to do here is combine the logs. So whenever you have a plus, it turns into multiplication. It's called the product rule for logs. So this becomes log base 6. Then you multiply. So it's x times x plus 1, and that's equal to 1. One cheesy way to remember it is the addition turns into multiplication. <laughs> I don't know if that helps, uh, but it might. So addition turns into multiplication. Okay, so now to get rid of the log, um, we have to exponentiate. So the base here is 6, so we'll put a 6 here and put a 6 here. And so all of this cancels, and you just get x, parentheses, x plus 1, equals 6 to the 1, so 6. That's a really important technique. So for example, say you had log base 2 of x plus 3 equals 4. In this case, the base is 2, so you would exponentiate using a 2. So you would do this. These would go away, and you would just get x plus 3, and then 2 to the 4th is 16. Same idea. Super, super key technique. All right, so now we'll go ahead and distribute. So we have x times x, that gives us x squared. And then x times 1, that gives us x. And all of that is equal to 6. It's a quadratic equation, so we'll set it equal to 0. So minus 6, minus 6. These cancel, so we get x squared plus x minus 6. And that's equal to 0. Good stuff. This should factor. Um, let's try it. If it doesn't factor, you probably messed up. You know, these problems are all rigged. Um, you know, it's part of a, you know, like a math course. So, um, you know, they're made to work out nice. Let's see, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 6. I'm thinking 3 and 2. And I think the negative has to go in front of the 2. Because if you do 3 plus negative 2, you should get 1. Yep. So you have a product equal to 0. So we set each factor equal to 0. So x plus 3 is 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. So then you can solve for x. Subtract 3, you get negative 3. Add here, and you get 2. And so the answer that doesn't check is negative 3. And the reason is this. If you go back here and you plug in negative 3 into the original, you get log base 6 of negative 3. And that's it. That totally fails, right? You're not allowed to take the log of a negative number, right? Negative numbers are not in the domain of the log. If you recall the graph of the logarithm, it looks something like this, right? So the domain of the log is all of the positive x's, right? So negative numbers are not allowed to be in logs. So this is the extraneous solution, and so the choice is choice D. So again, if you had to guess, um, you would guess either B or D. Always guess one of the negative ones if you are going to guess. That's it. I hope that made sense.